as far as the public was concerned, it was the uh, down-to-earth issues of livelihood which we were fighting for. My name is Hilton Chong Lin. I was a former chairman of the Urban Council and a former legislative councillor. I organized and founded the Hong Kong Civic Association. I was born in Georgetown, British Guiana, in 1922. Our family left Georgetown and arrived in Hong Kong in the middle of 1931. I was among the first batch of 100 who went into La Salle College which officially opened in January 1932. At that time, of course, Hong Kong was so, so different. And I remember I met our grandmother. She took off the band from her golden lily feet. And then we were looking at grandma's foot, and that was uh, the first instance of Chinese traditional culture that made an impression. se encuentran gigantescos depósitos de petróleo y de municiones. British and Allied chiefs assemble in Hong Kong for the Japanese surrender. And over all the same. It was formally rehoisted in the grounds of Government House. Hong Kong, one of our proudest overseas possessions, was British again. One of the reasons which uh, motivated me to uh, think about organizing the Hong Kong Civic Association was because service to humanity is the best work of life. The Reform Club wanted, was, was concentrating mostly on reforming the political scene, but my idea was concentrate on the Manzang, Manchi, Manchok. Nearly three quarters of a million terror-stricken Chinese have sought safety under the British flag in Hong Kong, and many other... Around 1954-56, the, the population had grown, expanded immensely, and most of them were refugees who had come from China. They all went to the hillsides, and they had little tin roofs. When it rained, then the mud started rolling down. And when uh, it, the governor started building Sekepek, that was because of the fire. I think the City Hall opened in 1962, and I continued until 1991, because I served for 34 years as an elected member. The City Hall was the only place where you could have a library, places for artists. Young people could go when the weather was warm, and they needed a place where there was air conditioning. In the Urban Council at that time, the chairman was appointed, Official members, they had to do with uh, things like fire services, like resettlement matters. It was there. We were able to ask the questions openly. There were uh, NGOs on the rooftops of the resettlement states which set up uh, sheds. And the sheds on top was metal. And in summer, when you walked up, you feel the heat coming through. There was never, never enough seats for them. But to me, young people 
should be given the opportunity to have a good education, not only at primary level or uh, nine years compulsory, but even beyond that. That is why it, even today, bring the younger generation to uh, have a technological understanding of the challenges of the future so that they themselves would be able to feel that they have an alternative future to raise a family, to be able to have a higher income and to stay in Hong Kong permanently as a Hong Kong citizen. Now, LegCo members, they have so many other things which attract their attention. And it seems that most of the time they talk about political reform. We still have to keep on doing our best on livelihood issues. Queen Spear should be part of the City Hall, because you, you have the square there. And at that time already, um, Hong Kong people began to have a composite feeling. And the things that were happening just in that particular area, they felt that here is a place which had a bit of history. Carrie Lam, at that time, she explained that it would cost $400 million to divert the plans when they start to knock down the walls. Then she went herself and then she realized how much it meant to the middle-aged and the young people of Hong Kong. I believe that she is trying her best because the most important thing is to uh, work closely with the central government, but don't forget that you as chief executive are responsible to the whole of Hong Kong. I would say that uh, as far as tensions between Hong Kong and the central government is concerned, it should not be seen as something which will growing or getting worse. It is a question of a better integration to meet the challenges of a global society. China wants Hong Kong to remain capitalist, but we must have a Hong Kong style of capitalism, meaning give equal opportunities to the underprivileged so that they can become middle class, they can become more knowledgeable, and they can also cooperate with China, make a contribution to China's overall future development, build up a, a feeling of that we are nas Chinese nationals, we are also Hong Kong local citizens. <laughs>